it's me, Renee, I'm back, and I'm here to do a review that I've kind of done already before, but I kind of, I wanted to do a bit more elaborate one, so yeah, um, as you can see from the title, this is tips for your Eurovision fun. so in case, I suppose, firstly, in case you don't know what that is, you probably would, because why else would you click this video, maybe you're clicking all my videos, that would be cool, uh, but yeah, Eurovision Fun is a Eurovision Fun that goes from the 15th of April till the 15th of May. Or yeah, 15th of May. And the idea is to read as many books as you kind of want yourself uh, from the countries participating in Eurovision Fun. So all the European countries, well, all the, most of the European countries, in addition to Australia, um, Azerbaijan, Israel, yeah, some of those countries. So, yeah. There are 37 countries in all this year. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and also, in case you kind of, if you haven't done this before, it doesn't really have to be that difficult. Like, the, the book can be set in their country. And it doesn't have to be all set. Like, if it's one chapter set in that country, that works. It can be a, pro, a, a author who's born someplace but live someplace else now you can kind of use the country where the person is born in if uh uh author has lived someplace in, in a in a little while you can use that if it's about someplace like if half of the book or yeah just like a significant portion of the book one chapter several chapters is about a person from a place can be that way let's use it and uh, yeah and yeah so first i kind of wanted to say like it doesn't have to be i suppose firstly kind of think about how 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 serious you want to do it do you want to do as many books as possible or do you kind of want to read from books from countries that you don't usually read do you just kind of want to use your own tbr books the own unread books that you kind of feel like can fit it's all up to you, really. Do you want to use library books? Do you want to read a lot of books, but like a lot of books that are shorter because you want to get, get a lot of books? Or do you want to like do some long books? That's all up to you, really. And uh, yeah, uh, so what I've been doing, uh, I suppose this year I'm kind of gotten a lot of books that I kind of all want to try to get to. Uh, but I'm not really sure if I ever will get to all 37 books, 37 years, like 47 years, 47 countries, uh, because that's quite a lot. Even though it takes place over like two months, yeah, 37 books, that is quite a lot. And I'm also a mood reader, so yeah, having like books I have to read doesn't really work for me. Like I need choices when I need like, yeah, uh, I'll, I very, I very rarely uh, read all the books that I have on my TBR, like if I set a TBR for a week or for a weekend, for a month, uh, there are books I want to read, but I often kind of end up mixing them up for other books and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the general gist of it. And now I'm going to get you some some tips. Give me a little moment. Uh, so firstly, well, sorry. Firstly, uh, I suppose this is kind of something you might have thought about, but yeah, maybe you haven't. But you see, you can just kind of Google, Google, I know, Finland and book set in Finland or Finnish offers, and then you'll get lots of suggestions. Uh, you could also uh, go to your library and just kind of uh, post, uh, post and put in a country and then you'll find books set in that country or uh, that country's offer or whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, and I suppose, like, I've been looking at so, like, some other people who do have the, already done TBRs for this year. And I saw someone, I can't for life remember her username, but yeah, I saw someone who, like, who had, a, like, a book for more or less every country. Well, it's somebody know, which, yeah, it is kind of a difficult one to find, actually. Um, but yeah, she had, like, for a lot of them uh, other than somebody know. And uh, she mostly had like did like classic uh, books, which I suppose yeah, that's also kind of way, way to, one way to do it because most uh, countries has like one or two, a few classics that kind of like yeah part of the kind of like classic 
uh, classic what again treasure of like the, that country. And yeah, a lot of those kind of classics are translated. So I suppose with the uh, England, you can go for Jane Austen. With Ireland, you can go for Oscar Wilde. With um, Norway, you could go for Henrik Ibsen, or you could go for like Knut Hamsun. So yeah, there's a lot of people like yeah, a lot of countries have like uh one or two classics or some more. That was you know, has a lot of them, but yeah, there's at least like some classics where you could choose and read those. I'm not gonna do it as I'm not gonna do that myself because I'm not really much of a classic reader, but that's one of the ways of doing it. Uh, and yeah, I kind of hit at this, but yeah, the Eurovision Fun has been going on for three years now, four years, three or four years around that time, around kind of that. So there are already like earlier TBRs on YouTube, on Instagram, whatnot. So you can like go to those uh, videos and kind of get some ideas if you want to. Is that that's an easy way of doing it? Well, it's way really, you know, good good tips there really for picking picking TBR books. Um, then you also have like, as I said, you don't, I mean, it doesn't have, have to be like a book that's set completely in that country. It doesn't even have to be a book where the author is from that country. It can be about one country. And yeah, so I suppose you can also like choose books where a book is uh, about several countries. Like some books are about the Soviet, Soviet period. And then they're often about several Soviet countries. So you can like use one of those books for like one of the earlier Soviet countries, you could use a book about, I don't know, traveling, like, yeah, traveling around Northern Europe, about where you can use, like, one of them as Denmark, whatnot, yeah, lots of, lots of books out there with, like, several countries in one, and, yeah, and also, like, there's actually also a few countries, countries, sorry, well, there's actually also a few uh, people who have kind of traveled all over the world, and then I decided to like write about that. I saw someone just kind of annoys me. I saw I saw someone, uh, a woman who traveled all over the world. And like she wrote a book about it, like she wrote from everywhere. I can't for life me. For life me. Remember the name of the book? Or the woman. Annoyingly. Uh, but yeah, you can probably Google stuff that or stuff like this, or can you, you can go to a library and ask like, do you know books about like the whole world, or I suppose you could also like books of people who travel around Europe. Uh, but yeah, so you can use stuff like that for like difficult difficult countries to find, to find books for, for because yeah, some books are kind of more difficult than others. Like, I mean, finding book sets or like books by Spanish authors, Portuguese authors, and uh, French authors, not that difficult. But if you're gonna like do uh, countries like Turkey or uh, North Mac Macedonia, Macedonia, some of that, that's kind of when it gets a bit more difficult, really, as you would think. Uh, so, yeah. And then, uh, this is another thing that you might not think of from the top of your head, really, but yeah, you can just kind of, what I've been also doing, you can just kind of Google famous people from, and then insert country, because most people, uh, most countries, uh, yet again, have some sort of famous people. Uh, if they're like famous people from wars or pe people who won Nobel Peace Prizes or whatnot. And yeah, a lot of these have biographies written about them. And I, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot to mention this, but yeah, you don't have to read like, you don't, like for you, you should find it's completely up to you, so you don't really have to read all adult books. You can read some kids books, you can read like some shorter biographies, like how long are the books, completely up to you. So yeah, like a lot of books uh, are written like for kids with like biographies of like people like scientists around the world and like whatnot. And yeah, so you can easily like find biographies that way. And I suppose that's also a way to like read lots of books, biographies of different people around, yeah, places. And then we have... Blah, blah, blah. Yes, and my next tip, royals. Like back in the day, not so much nowadays, but like back in the day, if you go back 50 years, 100 years, mostly royals would kind of uh, marry each other. They would like marry like just on the other royals from other countries. 
and yeah, so most royals have like, like if you're looking for uh, history books um, based on like, yeah, your own country's history or I suppose just history books in general, a lot of them will have, will be about royals and the royals, like there's royal, royals from most of you, as well, probably not wrong to say all of Europe, but like most of Europe has had some sort of royal sometimes and yeah, a lot of the royals has some sort of biography about them. Some have like a biography of just, just them, but you have some books with like 50 interesting royals that you should know about in one book. So yeah, royals, a good way to kind of choose and to get some books of your bingo board. Not, not, again, not that you have to read all the books from your original form, but like if you want to do a lot of them, or if you like want to branch out, yeah, this is kind of the video for you. Um, blah, 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 blah. I have my iPod, and then uh, da, 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 da. And yeah, so that's kind of went into it earlier. Uh, but yeah, so travel log. You can easily like find books about people who kind of biked around Europe or kind of hitchhiked around Europe. There's lots of books where people like write about their time traveling around Europe or traveling around. Uh, Eastern Europe, traveling around early Soviet, Soviet countries, whatnot. So, yeah, a lot of those people write uh, travel logs. Uh, there are some like famous travel logs from like the olden times, like Marco Polo. Marco Polo is an Asian, um, like he traveled to Asia, but like still. Travel logs, if you kind of just Google travel logs, you'll find a lot of them. So, that's also kind of a good tip for you there. Uh, so yeah, travel logs uh, is a good way to go, really, for just if you want to try to read some travel logs or yeah, difficult countries or just whatnot, really. Uh, then you have kids' books. As I said earlier, uh, most countries have like uh, some classic kids' literature who is kind of like a class a staple of that country. And yeah, it's not like often that uh, like, for example, Norway. I'm Norwegian. It's not like all the Norwegian books are translated to English or other languages, uh, but like the ones who are, are of course like very popular, like best-selling books. But also like I would say all, you know, all. I think quite a lot of the like the classic Norwegian kids literature is available in other languages, and that's yeah, it's for, kind of, it's for some just kind of. I'm assuming here, but I'm kind of thinking at least that the product is something that happens all over that like the different countries kind of want to have kids literature available in English as well because it's kind of like it's a nice way to import your classic kids literature or it's like it's a nice way to like when kids are learning English they can kind of read that book and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, just I suppose go to your library or just kind of google classic kids literature and yeah in general and then pick out ones that you haven't read and then try to get ones online or from library or whatnot and then uh, yeah there you go Bob's your uncle and then give me a moment yeah i've mentioned this already but yeah so it's books i suppose yeah look at in general like is there something that you really enjoy do you like music do you like history do you like i don't know that yeah, was well, maybe like history of music or like so like is it like do you have like a su subject you really enjoy they can probably find like something about that subject or like the environment or politics you can probably find something about that go uh, something about that subject written by people from all over or like about all over like politics there's politics books about a lot of countries and a lot of countries politicians politics and yeah i mean you have lots of politics biographies and whatnot in a moment uh people i think people often think of like politics as like the us or the uk but like you have lots of politics and uh, political books about the soviet period or like people i mean books about the Tsar period and like yeah that's also interesting political 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 periods on time that there's lots of books about so yeah and yeah there's also like history like if you're interested in history I suppose like 
Second World War history, First World War history, or just history in general. That's lots of those books, like about Europe, I suppose, probably about the whole, well, yes, about the whole world, but like, yeah, lots of European history uh, exists out there in book form, so you can check, check out that. And uh, yeah, uh, also, like, I suppose, I'm a bit, a bit back and forth here, but yeah, um, so I suppose a bit of sum up, really. Uh, firstly, it's not really that it doesn't have to be that difficult. It's like how you want to do it yourself. It can be complicated, and like you can read lots of thick books. You can read lots of thin books. You can do a mix. That's up to you. Uh, you can read off of some place, or you can be set in there. That's up to you. Uh, and yeah, you can. Yeah, it's not really. I mean, you got lots of resources, lots of ways to find interesting books, really, from lots of places, really. Uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, as I forgot, forgot to say, uh, but yeah, audiobooks. You can probably, like, if you go to Libby or if you just go to, like, your audiobook app, you can probably uh, just also, as well as in general, just kind of write in country's name and you can find lots of, well, lots. You can find some options for most places. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of it for today. Not like a long audio, but yeah. A little bit of a tip video, things I've talked about a bit more about before, but yeah, I kind of yeah want to do like some, as I said before, some Eurovision fun or Eurovision uh, inspired videos, like from now until Eurovision really. And uh, yeah, I actually also have my TBR kind of more or less ready soon, so I'm um, thinking I might uh, post that soonish. And um, yeah. That's kind of today's video. I hope you liked my thoughts and tips. If you have any thoughts and tips yourself, please kind of talk to me in the comments and give them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.